1. The diagram on the right shows a right angle triangle PQR. Find the value of each of the following. So, we know that when we have a trigo, so the way we can find sine cos tangent is so cha tua. So, we know that so cha tua, where O is opposite, A is adjacent. So, just remember so cha tua. So, how to use the formula? So, sine is equal to O divided by H. Means sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So, cos is actually A divided by H adjacent divided by hypotenuse and T is tangent. Tangent is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. This is how you use it. You use it. But then here we have another formula which is cotangent, secant and cosecant. So this one you have to remember. You just remember that it's the opposite. So here cotangent is equal to 1 divided by tangent. So secant so, secant is S, right? So, it is 1 over cos and cos secant is equal to 1 over sine. So, this one you have to remember. Okay. So, A, find the value of the following. So, cotangent R. So, we know that cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. So, cotangent R, cotangent R, is equal to 1 over tangent R. So, you see here, and tangent can be found from the formula, can be found from the formula. So, tangent is O divided by A. So, we have theta here. So, you see here, this one is R, right? So, this one is R. So, O is opposite. So, opposite to R is set to. So, we can find tangent R first. Tangent R is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So, opposite is set 2 and then adjacent is 1, side to the angle is this one. So, we don't know, right? So, we have to calculate. We can use Pythagoras theorem. So, if this one is x, so we know that x square. plus set 2 square is equal to 5 square. So, x square plus so, set and square can be cut off is equal to 25. So, x square is equal to 25 minus 2 which is equal to 23. So, x is equal to set 23. So, this one is set 23. So, now A adjacent is x which is set 23. So, this is tangent. We want cotangent. So, we know cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. So, cotangent R is equal to 1 divided by set 2 over set 23, which is equal to 1. So, we know that divide, divide fraction, then you have to multiply the opposite, which is set 23 over set 2. Or you can just directly put set 23 over set 2 without doing this one. Okay. So, now you get cotangent R, which is equal to set 23 over set 2. So, B sine square R is actually equal to sine R square. So, can you get sine R? Yes. So, sine R just right here. Sine R is equal to, you can use formula. So, cahtua. sine is actually O divided by H. O is opposite. So, opposite to R is set 2. And hypotenuse, H is hypotenuse, which is 5. So, now you got set 2 over 5. So, this one is set. 2 over 5 square which is equal to so 2 square and then 5 square so you get this one and this one can be cut off 2 over 25 so C cos R minus sine R divided by cos secant R so before this we get the value of sine R already right so I just write up here so, sine R is equal to set 2 over 5. Okay. So, cos R, we need to find what is your cos R. So, here, it's right here. Cos R, cos using the formula is A divided by H. Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So, adjacent to R, side next to R with uh, but not the hypotenuse is set 23. 
hypotenuse is 5. Now I just write up here cos r is equal to 23 divided by 5. And then cosecant. So cosecant, this one cosecant, cosecant r is equal to 1 over sine r. So 1 over sine r means you just this one. So 2 over 5, that means that cosecant r is equal to 5 over set 2. Because we know that 1 over, I just show you. So same like what I did in A. So this one is actually you multiply the opposite. 5 over set 2 and 5 over set 2. But you didn't have to do all, you didn't have to go through all the hassle. All this hassle, you can just change it from set 2 over 5 to 5 over set 2. So yeah, here you have cos r, you have sin r, you have cosecant r, you can substitute. So here cos r is equal to set 23 over 5 minus sin r is set 2 over 5 divided by cosecant r. Cosecant r is 5 over set 2. Which is equal to, so we see this one is both over 5. So set 23 minus set 2 divided by 5 divided by 5 over set 2. So we know divide fraction means you can multiply. So set 2 over 5. So it's equal to multiply. So you change place. Instead of 5 over set 2, it will become set 2 over 5. So, which one is set 2 times set 23 minus set 2 divided by 5 times 5 is 25. So, here set 2 times set 23 minus set 2 and set 2 over 25. So, set and set like this. So, you get set 2 times 23 minus, so this one is the same one, so it's actually set 2 square, you will get 2 back over 25. So this one is 23, so 2 times 23 is set 46 minus 2 over 25.